Hey, welcome back to another Android video for GPS. We're in the middle of a process of creating an application that does GPS tracking and a demo. So we created this waypoint button in the last video, which allows us to add a new waypoint. And so you can see that now we have three waypoints. Now in this video, we're going to do show waypoint list and that will show all of the items that we've saved. All right, so let's get to this point here where we can make this button active and show the list. So let's do a uh, intent. We'll make a listener on this button and create an intent to go to a new page. So I might as well stop the app here and let's go and create that new page first of all. So let's go into the folder where our Java stuff is and I'm going all the way down to activity and let's choose an empty activity. So empty means, you know, obviously we can start from scratch. So I'll try to name this as uh, well as possible. So it says show saved locations list. And that should give us a pretty good description of what its job is. So show saved locations list is going to be very simple. Let's go to its layout and then we're going to add only one item. We're just going to add a list view. So here it is, we've got an empty screen. And I'm going into the legacy area and choosing list view, dragging that out. Let's uh, just change the ID here. Let's just call it LV underscore waypoints. So we know what, what's in there. All right, so let's just uh, leave that alone. And uh, I think we should probably do the constraints. So let's see if we can pin that to the top. And uh, let's pin it to the side and to the right side. Now I'm going to intentionally leave no constraint at the bottom so it can fall off the edge of the screen because it's going to be scrollable. All right, so that is the entire layout. It's going to be the simplest thing possible. And the only way to, to return to the main screen is to click the back arrow. So we don't have to create a button to go back. But we do have to create a button to get here. So let's go back to our main activity and let's add uh, some items to this uh, button here. We're gonna make this thing a new button listener. So show waypoint list is the ID number. Let's go program it. So back into main activity and let's go find a good place to put this. So I'm thinking near the top of the screen is probably a good location. So let's go and add our new button listener. So button show waypoint list is the name and we will set a click listener on it and add a new click listener. Now inside of OnClick, we're gonna have a simple program. We're gonna say, give me an intent to go to another screen. So this intent should be pretty simple. As you might remember from previous lessons, an intent needs a couple of things. It needs to have the uh, context. So the context is coming from main activity dot this. And then it has to have the name of the class that we're trying to show. And so the class name is show saved locations list. We just created that a second ago. And then we just have to tell it to start the activity. We don't have to send any data. We're using a global list that we've saved and we're going to access that in a minute. All right, so there we go. We got ourselves the button listener. Let's see if it works. And if it works, then we can start programming the list. All right, it looks like we got ourselves the application running. Let's save a waypoint. Let's do a show the list and see if this works. All right, so it shows an empty list and I can return to the main program. So far, so good. Now, when we go to this list here, let's actually populate it with the items that we've saved. So as we did in a previous video, we're going to have a global access to this list. So I need to get a reference to my application. So my application comes from this function called get application context, and then we cast it into this class called my app. Then once we have that, we can get the saved locations using the getter. So get my locations. Remember, this is a static class or this is a singleton. So that way we can get it from anywhere in the application. Now, the next thing we're trying to do is add this list to the list view that's supposed to be on this page. So let's create some variables to access the list view. So let's uh, create a variable at the top level and we'll call it LV underscore saved locations. That might or might not be the exact name I used in the layout. Then in the uh, on create area, we're going to go find this item in the view or find view by ID. And it looks like I called it LV underscore waypoints. So the names don't match exactly, but it'll still function correctly. 
So now all you have to do is connect our list called saved locations to the list view. And the absolute simplest way to do this is with what's called a simple list adapter. And it's not fancy, but it is all we need for right now. If you want to create a more fancy version with graphics and everything, go see another tutorial on creating a custom list adapter. So then what are the parameters inside of this array adapter? There are three of them. The first one is the context. So the context is just the reference to this activity. So I'll just call it this. And then the second item is what layout or what type of adapter are you using? So I'm going to choose a predefined one. And you can find this in android.r.layout. And you can see there are multiple different types of layouts that are predefined for us. Now the one I'm going to choose is the only one that I've actually had any experience with is simple list item one. And it will take whatever object you're doing and make a two string out of it. So it's not fancy, but it will show the data. Now the last item in the list is the list itself. So saved locations is what we're looking for. So that should assign all of the items in saved locations to this list. Let's run the app again and let's see if it works. Okay, it looks like the app is up and running. I'm going to choose new waypoint and then show the waypoint list. And sure enough, you can see that there is a location that is there. Let's go back and add another waypoint and choose show the list. So we can see one there and one there. So there are two now. So we've got ourselves a successful list. Now, as you could probably argue, this is a very useless list. What can I tell from it? All I can tell is that I have a whole bunch of data that relates to a GPS location. I have latitude and longitude. The point is that I now can see which waypoints I've saved. Now, in the next video, instead of showing a list, we're going to put these on a map and that will be a whole lot more graphical and understandable. But for right now, we've got ourselves the goal that we met here of adding this button called Show Waypoint List, and it's exactly what it does. So we'll see you in the next video where we create a map and show all the pins on the map.